Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna work on a new accelerometer sensor that is MXC six two three two XL. Now we have been working on a different digital accelerometer sensors. Let's add a new one to that list. So to gain more knowledge about this sensor, we have to visit the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search for this sensor that is MXC six two three two XL. Now we can say that it's a low power plus minus 2G dual axis accelerometer and these are x y axis 8 bit acceleration AD output plus minus 2G some of its features as you can see on my display. Now you can also purchase the sensor from here you can add to cart here. I will be interfacing the sensor MXC6232 accelerometer with a Raspberry Pi and I require a Python code to interface with that. So go to resource tab and here comes the python code sample. Now you can download the python code sample as zip file from here. This link. Also you can download the code from github repository that is control everything community. Now what do we require is to make some hardware connections so that we can interface the sensor along with the code. First of all in the connection segment we require our sensor that is MXC6232XM. Now this here is a Raspberry Pi and these are the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi as you see. Now we want to make a connection among the sensor of the Raspberry Pi other I2C devices and this connection should be a lot easier. That's why the answer is this an I2C sheet which you can purchase from the website controleverything.com. Gently place this I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi and make a connection. Now to power up the Raspberry Pi we need a micro SB cable just like this. Gently insert it over the power jack. Now to make a connection among the sensor and the shield we need a connecting cable just like this and gently insert it and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly we have to follow this rule for the I2C sheet. Now the final step is to make an internet connection and for that there are two steps. The first step is an ethernet cable which you are able to see on my screen and you can gently insert it over the ethernet jack. Second you can have a wireless nano USB adapter which you can insert it on the USB port and you can have your way out for the internet connection. So we are done with the connection spot. What do we require is our port so that we can interface and work out with our sensor. Well. First of all, we require a Python code so that we can interface the sensor Raspberry Pi alongside it. And for that, we have to log into github.com website. And here we have to search for the official repository of controleverything.com. That's control everything community. You see it now, get over it. And now, search for the sensor we are looking forward to work out. And it's MXC6232XM. Now, this is the Python code we are talking about. Now, let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow to pursue this code. It says that we have to download and install SMBus library on the Raspberry Pi and the steps are being here on this very link. To install this library, let's have a look over so that we can familiarize this with ourselves. As you can see, commands, dependencies, installation steps are there. Note it down carefully. And this is the command to run the Python code. Now get it down and this is the Python code.py extension. Here we have imported SMBus and time libraries as you can see and the address of the sensor is 0x10. Now for the writing part we have selected internal configuration register and having the command there is power on, self test off, band gap test, normal, temperature disabled and that goes for 0x00. The writing command is here. So we are done after the sleep. We want to read the data back. So we are reading 5 bytes of data as you can see. Internal register having the status xy uh, axis acceleration data now after that we have to convert the data we have received uh, it's according to the formulas the information we have been provided for the sensor as we are done we want to have the output data on the screen and its acceleration in x and y axis uh, decimal format is here there as you can see raw values will be there now this is a very simple python code so why not we have the practicality of this code alongside with the Raspberry Pi and the sensor. Let's have a look over that also. 
Now for the practicality, for the working, first of all, the step is to copy this entire Python code and open up the terminal regarding the Raspberry Pi via internet. We have create a file named mxc6232xm.py is the extension and here save, paste the file, save it. Now this is the command to run the code as you can see on my screen and here we go. As you can see the acceleration in x and y axis are almost stable. Now when I try to move the sensor the values will be changing. It's continuously changing as I am moving the sensor. Now here we go again, values are there constantly changing. So this is how the sensor works alongside the python code and the raspberry pi. Now what we require is to show the benefits the applications of this sensor. Let's have a look over that also. The MXE6232XM is a low cost dual axis accelerometer fabricated on a standard submicron CMOS process. It is a complete sensing system with an on-chip mixed signal processing and integrated I2C bus, allowing the device to be connected directly to a microprocessor, eliminating the need for A to D converters or timing resources. The sensor measures an acceleration with a full-scale range of plus minus 2G and a sensing of 512 counts per G at the rate 3.2 volt at 25 degrees Celsius. It can measure both dynamic acceleration and static acceleration. This allows to be used in a lot of applications like information appliances, for example, cell phones, PDAs, computer peripherals, consumer appliances like LCD projectors, pedometers, blood pressure monitors, gaming appliances like joystick, RF interface, alongside GPS appliances like electronic compass tilt correction and a lot more. Now you can purchase the sensor from the website controlleverything.com as you can see and you can have the code from the resource tab. Afterwards you can download it from there. Also you can have the code downloaded from the repository from website github.com and its control everything community. In the end I would like to make it clear that in case you guys are in a kind of feeling like you are left without fully understanding any part of this video or any part of the code. You can have your further queries on controleverything.com. You can contact it there. Also, you can post your comments on the community page here. Now, for articles, blogs which are relevant to this sensor or video, you can have a check on instructables.com. And if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and you are waiting for further more videos which you will get. Thanks for watching.